Okay, hi guys, welcome back to part two on how to pass your permit test 100% the first time. Um, so let's get right into the video. Okay, if you do see me looking down, it's because I have my notes right here. Um, so I'm just going to basically explain to you like the five different sources that I would use to study and what should be your main focus to prepare yourself to take your permit test. So this is not in any order. I'm not picking my nose, but this is not in any order. But there is three that I would strongly recommend for those who are in Michigan to take use these three. But I'm going to just provide you with five different sources that you can use. So the first one that I am using was the DNV book. Now, at your Secretary of State, if you are going to go in person, you can request to have the permit test practice manual. Um, if not, then just go on the Secretary of State's website and you're going to see that they're going to have the PDF. And it's called what every either what every or what must each driver should know. I'm just going to put a picture of it so you can know what it looks like the cover. But that's the book that I use to practice. This right here itself, you can practically just use this only to study and prepare to take your permit test. Um, I do recommend if you want to, you know, practice even more, then use the other four resources that I'm going to provide. But mainly this one, you can just pretty much use this to prepare yourself because majority of the questions come from the pamphlet itself. Um, so number two is the Michigan's Permit app. Now this app, I did get last minute, but I strongly recommend to get this app. When I was reading the driver's manual practice, pretty much all the questions that was on the app pretty much aligned with what was said inside of the book. So I would say that this the manual book and this question go hand to hand. Um, the app is free, but you are limited to how many quizzes you can take. There's usually each um, quiz on there was like 30 questions, but you could probably only do like 10 or 20. They wouldn't allow you to do the rest. So you would have to buy the premium. Um, the premium is only $7.99. That's pretty cheap and really worth it if you're going to take your permit test. And I, like I said, I purchased it last minute, but I was so happy that I found this app. This app was much, much needed and I'm happy that I purchased it. So the book and the Michigan's permit app test did go hand to hand. The third one is the DNV's online test. Now this one was recommended to me on on YouTube. There's a girl, she said she took her permit test and she just mainly used this website to practice because the other website she was using did not help her at all. So I'm like, okay. So I did go on that website. I did use those websites a lot to prepare and study for the permit test. It prepared me for the road signs and the knowledge of the road. So that is the third strongly recommended resource to use to prepare for your permit test. So the main three is the DNV book, the Michigan's permit app, and the DNV online practice permit test. So those three strongly helped me to prepare for the test. Um, the DNV online one, it only has nine tests on there, but I recommend go on there take it take a lot of them and then if you fail go back to see if you improved those helped me really a lot and that's what helped me pass 100 percent the first try on my permit test and then the next one is just going to be you know just random youtube videos you can watch now i did not watch the youtube videos a lot i try to do that but i just it just seemed really boring to me and i wasn't like active engaged with it i do recommend if you're you know, washing the dishes you want to listen to practice or things like that now that's another source you can do but i feel like a lot of those were just basically on the app but it's more better to engage than just sit down and active listen to it but um i did like i said did watch some youtube videos there's one particular video that i did watch more than the rest of the other ones. So I will link that video in the description box below. I'm gonna link all of the things that I use. Um, if you're in Michigan, I will link the Michigan one, but if you're from a different state, you're gonna have to go to your Secretary of State website to find the manual book from there. Now, taking the permit test, um, they did, like I said, um, if you watched my first video, the first test that I took only had 40 questions. 
and that was mainly like knowledge tests so like i said what to expect on the road how to prepare for the road what are the rules of the road um so mainly of those is what you should prepare and practice on and then the next test that i took was only 10 questions and those are mainly of the road sign so when you are you know reading your manual book Pay attention to the road sign because I know there's a chapter on that in the book. I'm not sure if it's chapter 9 or chapter 8. You have to look in the book. And then the Michigan's 2 online permit website, they give a lot of practice for the road test. I'm sorry, the road sign. So from there, you should also be able to manage those. And then also from the Michigan's app, 799 one. There's literally a portion of the um, quiz on there that's 100 questions, all on road signs for Michigan. So for that one, you should definitely take that one to prepare yourself for the road, the, the road signs to prepare yourself. So those are the main things that the tests, they're going to ask you. They do have the vision test, but that is not something that you have to really prepare for. You just got to show up. Bring your glasses if you wear glasses. Bring your contacts if you wear contacts. If you don't wear those, then just bring yourself and your required documentation. And that's pretty much that. Um, I did take at least two to three weeks to prepare myself to study. I would say three weeks, but I only studied within the two. Um, so you don't really need me that much time to study. If you're a person that's really nerve-wracking for a test, then I would say take at least three to four weeks to prepare yourself. Um, the test was really, really easy. I was stressing for no reason. I did overstudy, I would say. I was learning so much more than what it asked for on the test. But that's fine because now I know a lot more than what I need to know just to prepare myself when I am on the road and finally driving. And so that's pretty much it. So those are the five things, five resources that I use to prepare to take my test. I do strongly recommend the first three that I mentioned. I will still put them up on the screen again, the three that I recommend using. I will also tag them down low in the description box below. And yeah, so thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to watch part one. I'll probably link it up somewhere up there. And yeah, so bye. Chérie, ouvre ma phone, moi ça vous est la bonne, la bonne, la bonne